First, we want to take you out live, showing you some of that damage from the severe storms. Our Caitlin McCarthy joins us from one of the hardest hit areas in Mentor on the Lake. Hi, Caitlin. Tiffany, good evening. This family here on Men on the Lake is going through a very difficult time. Just take a look at the destruction on their home. All day, we've watched tree removal crews out here working to remove a massive tree that fell on this home. And I talked to the homeowner who is understandably heartbroken. I'm devastated. I feel lost. I feel like my life is just crushed down. I've lived here for 33 years. Cindy Frost holds her daughter close after looking at her home. As the storm swept through Menor on the lake Thursday night, high winds caused several massive trees to come crashing down on homes. When I came in the driveway yesterday around 6.30, 7, I literally just got down like a baby and cried my eyes out. This tree that practically blankets the backside of her home isn't the only one that fell. Six. I have a tree right now laying in my bed right through my window. With this much destruction, Frost fears she may never be able to return to her home. It's going to be a long time, probably months, months. So I'm going to have to find a place to live. Miraculously, no one was hurt when this happened. And her two precious pups who were home at the time, they were luckily safe. So Frost is grateful she'll have them and her family to help her get through this. I have to look at the bright side, the silver lining. No one was in there. The dogs are safe. It's just stuff, even though, you know, it hurts, but it's just stuff. And after looking at this damage, we are so glad that no one was hurt after the tree fell on this home. And sadly, this is just a few of the dozens of trees in this area that fell during last night's storm. Yeah. Reporting live in Menor on the Lake, Caitlin McCarthy. 19 news. A lot of rebuilding coming for her family and many others. Caitlin, thanks a lot.